What's the hang-up, Voltron? <laughs> well, she ain't gonna make it up this hill, Cal. Where's the D-Niner? You can search me. Hello, Mac. Mac, this is Kelly. Come in. I want to talk to you. Mac, come in. Hey, Mac. Beautiful. Sure. Buckingham Palace. You know, this place used to be a refueling station during World War II. I'll bet there hasn't been anybody here since. <laughs> I can't imagine why, Dutch. Six square miles of lush tropical garden spot. Hey, look, what do you expect? We're only 200 miles off the coast of Africa, right? <coughs> All right, listen, I'll get you some help. Veronica Lake. What? Not what, man. Who? This is Veronica Lake. Didn't you ever hear of Veronica Lake? Mm. I want to tell you something. This chick was cool before they invented the word. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, Kelly's going to be on our tails. We're supposed to be fixing up. You know what? I'll bet there's some old life magazines around here. All right, fellas, what's the story? Hey, coach, como se va? That used to be an old explorer, Scout. He uh, can't seem to break the habit. <laughs> Yeah, well, you fellows are being paid to hack out a base camp for Warburton's drilling crews, not rummaging around. You see if you can find the saddle of that D-9. OK, OK, don't get uptight. Hire the best. Uh, we'll get your job done on schedule. We've only got five days left. <laughs> uh, good point. I'll go rev up my big yellow baby. You do that. Come on, Dutch, let's go. Veronica Lake. Careful, officers. Hey, Dutch! I want you to give Beltran a hand on the access road.
What's the matter? Won't it come out? Ah, funny looking rock here. Yeah. It's metallic. Doesn't match the geological formation. <laughs> Maybe we've uncovered Captain Kidd's treasure. Well, whatever it is, it's gonna have to come out. You sound like the dentist. Show you how it's done, kid. What's the matter, boy? Hey, Mac, what happened? Uh, Mac? Uh, How could it happen? I don't get it. What was Kelly doing anyway? Same as always, pushing. Yeah, we're driving the D9 is Mac's job, not uh, Kelly's. My God, the guy's gonna die. Easy, you want Mac to hear you. Well, somebody's got to do something. Uh, well, Kelly's on the radio. Calling who? Look, the supply ship is four days out, and besides, it's too slow. <laughs> oh, listen to the guy. <laughs> Mac needs a doctor in a hospital. Well, maybe the company can arrange for a, a mercy flight. Land where? Will you shut up? We can rough out a strip as quick as they can fly here. Well, can't you patch me through to a doctor? I don't care. Ghana, Liberia, anywhere as long as he speaks English. Are there any ships in the area? Well, call me back when you do know. Might as well be on the moon. Any chance of a plane? Still can't figure it. What happened or how or why? How's it going, Tiger? What are you doing about getting Mac to a hospital? Tell. Gotta talk. Sure. Plenty of time later, Mac. No. No. Alone. Come on, what do you have to say to this Joker? If it wasn't hey, for him. Out. Come on. Come on, man. He's my buddy. Hey, listen. You hang in there, here. I'm sticking with you. All the way. We all are. I don't want you looking at me. You heard the man.
Did you see it? See what? I don't know exactly. When you hit the rock, blue, whatever it was, you must have seen it. I didn't see anything, man. It was there. <laughs> Went and killed me, Kelly. Oh, uh, come on, man. I'm telling you, I saw it. It was a thing. Oh, man. It was weird. Unreal. I never seen anything like it, Kelly. Sure, Kelly. sure. It's okay now. Lie back and forget about it. I saw it jump when the blade hit the rock. I'm trying to warn you, Kelly. It's blue light. Oh my God. It's there in the blade. Ever tell you I introduced him to his girl at a Halloween party back in the States? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I called her up ahead of time, see? And I said, honey, put on two masks. Huh? So when Mac took off the first mask, he saw the second, he went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> And I said to Mac, I said, well, man, what did I tell you? Not much on looks, but terrific personality. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say? So he says, Dutch, would you like to play Dunk the Apples? I said, certainly. He said, with your head, I said, <laughs> Don't go in there, Dutch. Yeah, I want to be with my friend. What Kelly said to me. Hey, hey. I don't care what Kelly said. And what was so important? Nothing. Better get a tarp. We're gonna have to bury him for the time being. Is that all you gotta say? What's the good, Dutch? He's bleeding in his own way. Ice cube.
should have had a priest for Mac. They'll send him back so his folks can do a proper service. Is Dennis gonna grace us with his presence? Kelly's bringing in the Niner so we can work on her tonight. I haven't seen Dennis. Dennis doesn't put himself out even for Dennis. Why should he care about Mac? Hey, a man dying makes everybody care. Well, maybe a fella could care less if he knew how somebody died. Don't read something that isn't there, Dutch. It doesn't help anyone, least of all Mac. I liked him, Chubb. I miss people I like. Can we say goodbye now? Sorry. You only get one shot at that Mackie. What do you say? His trip was short. Too short. Rest in peace, Mac. We'd better go and turn in now. Are you working late or getting a head start on tomorrow? to say goodbye to an Irishman, right? Yeah. Mac, he'd like that. Here, you... You knew him best. Did I ever. Man, that was the most crazy, beautiful kid. He and I worked together on his first job. You know, Chubb, I sort of showed him the ropes. Only did he learn quick. Listen, let me tell you. Behind that young face, he was about as green as your average fire truck. I remember this time we're working down in Zanzibar, you know? And it's hot. Man, is it hot. So we get done and we go at the local saloon. We're gonna relax a little bit, have a little coconut juice. So we're sitting there. In through the door, walk three of the local talent. Well, they give us the eye. I look at Mac. Mac look at the... Bang! The kid's gone like a shot. I turn around... Hey. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Well, somebody's got to do it. I thought it might be kind of rough on you. Since when would you care? I'm sorry. Mostly science fiction. Yeah, he ate it up. No sweat, huh? It's got me really strung out. Where'd that come from? We're having one for Mac. Then we're turning in. No problem. You better make it fast, because nobody's sleeping late tomorrow. Have a slug? Go on. Special occasion. Nobody's gonna report you to the company for one little shot. The bar is closed. What do you mean, report him to the company? He's a dried-out drunk. Making good with this job is his last chance with the company. Oh, you're a real sweetheart, Dennis. What's wrong, Kelly? You always used to know when to bear down and when to ease up. Look, I'm human. Well, then remember we are, too. Yeah, you're right. How did you get that? The D-Niner. 
I want you to check her out in the morning, and I mean good. Why, what's wrong? You find out, and then you tell me. Here, here, let me do that. Give me some clue. I don't like the way she acts. I'm telling you, it was a fluke accident, Bonnie. There was no negligence. Now listen, you tell Warburton nobody's letting him down. He's got my personal guarantee that this job is coming in right on the money. And Bonnie, one more thing. Have you notified McCarthy's mother? Yeah. Well, I want somebody to go over there personally. I don't want her getting some lousy telegram. Right. OK. Yeah. Same time tomorrow. Hey, Kelly! Kelly! What'd you find? Nothing. You sure? Well, I found the compression lever wired down, the drain cocks open, the air intake blocked, and the main fuel line cut. Yeah. How come? Because I didn't want her going anywhere. You sure made sure. Well, you saw this. Remember that 99M grader we had nobody could handle? Yep. Think we got another? It's a possibility. Still, if you say she's OK. Well, there, there was one thing. Come here. Right here. Listen. You hear that? I couldn't locate whatever's causing it. Probably not important. Belton came by asking for her up at the Morrow Pit. Well, he's just going to have to make do with the D4. I don't want anybody taking this machine out until I give the green light, OK? You holding back on me. Yeah, I guess I am for right now. Well, when the time comes. Yeah. Maybe I better move your cot into the ADD so we can get some work done around here. Don't worry, I'll get my job done. Then get at it now. I'm getting tired of your attitude. And I'm tired of being kept in the dark. What's this with this funny blue light? I'm no piece of candy. You're a sourball. Yeah. I'm the best shovel operator you'll ever have. Now, back to the blue light. I'm listening. You breathe one word. You didn't take Mac seriously. He was out of his head. Yeah. Makes sense. Still, last night I wondered. I could have sworn a D9 blade moved took my foot off. You better be more careful.
Makes you wonder. Okay, how did it happen? Don't give us none of that about the D9 or going haywire. We want to know. I don't know why. You were there. You saw it. Maybe you were seeing pink elephants, too. Kelly, Mac and Al are dead. Get off his back! I saw Belton lose control and go plowing into that radio before the thing ran away with him. He must have bailed out. You saw by the tracks how he got it. What more do you need? A logical explanation. You know, well, he's got to come up with one sooner or later. It's going to have to be later because there's an hour of daylight left and there's work to be done. So let's get at it, huh? Do you believe that guy? Gee, Dennis, it's real tough, you know? I mean, Beltran and his wife just started to plan a family. Hey, you know what 
I'd like to do? I'd like to go swimming. Me and Mac used to go swimming. We'd go swimming all the time, mostly at night, splashing around like a couple of jaybirds. People used to think we were crazy. We weren't crazy. You have to be crazy to be in this business, right? Live hard, laugh hard, because... Hey, Dennis, come on. Go swim. Yeah, come on, right now, we can go. Sure. While we're at it, let's uh, send out for some pizza. Exactly, did you see? Think elephants. Straight, huh? The D Niner was operating by itself when it ran him down. Throttling, pivoting, floating the blade. How? I don't know how. Some malfunction in the controls. You've seen rogue machinery operate before. Look, I heard McCarthy, too. I'm trying to warn you, it, a blue light, my God, it was there in the blade. You don't believe that. The question is, do you? No. Dutch, shut that noise off and get some sleep. When out, boss around. Now don't you start. Tell her you can't play ostrich. That D9 is harmless now. It's out of fuel, it racked up out there somewhere. So we leave it be and let the company engineers come in and find the bugs in it later. And if you're wrong, tomorrow's going to be another tough day. You'd better get some sleep. I don't believe Mac was delirious. I saw the D-Niner operating all by itself. You're paid to work. You saw it too, didn't you, when it got Belton? Forget it. You know, I suppose it's possible for two guys to have the same hallucination, but for two guys as different as you and me, never. Listen, Buster, I got a completion date, and I haven't got time Come to Come off it! We're up against something we can't fight until we can figure it out. 
I picked up a piece of that rock that you hit. What about it? You know geology better than me. Look close and tell me if you ever saw anything like it. Meteorite, maybe? Oh, for the love of God, man, will you face it? Two of us are dead. What will it take to make a believer out of you? Another one? All right, Sireball, what do you think I should we do? we got to level with the other guys. Assuming there is something inside that dozer, we find it and destroy it. How? we got plenty of dynamite. Are you crazy? That D-Niner costs 90... Okay, come on. You see Dennis bail out of bed this morning? Nope. So? So? He and your friend Kelly are up to something. I mean for them, not us. I think the pressure's got to both of them. They're looking out for number one and two. I think this Mac thing bought you a bad dream. What bad dream? There are two graves down there on the beach. And there's lots of room for two more. Listen, Dutch, for once and for all, you know there's not a more experienced construction boss in the business. So let's clam up this dumb talk and get this thing back on a job. Sure. He's the most experienced boss in the business. Survival of management, that's what they call it. Guys like us, we're expendable. You better take that paper bag off your head and open up those trusting eyes. You and me, Chubb. We're gonna be on the beach pretty soon. Stretched out, Chubb. Four little bodies all in a row. Hey, Dutch. Chubb, come here, I wanna talk to you. Check it out and gas them all up, will you? There's food, canned stuff, two jerrys of water. That ought to hold us till the supply boat day after tomorrow. Hey, Dutch, will you shut that thing off? He's coming off his spool. Remote control. That's got to be it, huh? That 
everything is running by remote control. Listen. Listen, you guys. We got to do something. I mean, something's wrong. Mach machines just don't run by themselves. That means there's somebody else on this island. You know, foreign spies or something. How about a mad scientist? No, listen, Dennis. Come on, I'm serious. We're wasting Wait. time. There's got to be a logical explanation. Got him gassed up? Yep. I'd sure like to know what that D-9er's running on. Yeah, so would I. We got to get out of here. Where to? That high ground. Oh, we're not going after the D-9? Well, not until we figure out how that dynamite didn't phase it. I still say it's remote control. We can move faster. We'll hide and run. Gain time until that ship shows up. You're calling the shots. Dutch, you better ride with me. Dennis, did I ever tell you I played in the Cotton Bowl? In 64, I caught two touchdowns. She won't make it any further up this grade! Well, I think we'd better take a look around up there first. We don't want to get ourselves trapped. Hey, guys, you want to laugh? Wait till you hear the cockamamie story old Denny's been handing me. Best we can do. Best? Man, it's terrific. Well, the truth is, we don't know anything for a fact. Except that bulldozer kills. That's good enough for me. You stay here with Dutch. Chubb, let's take a look. There's some logical explanation. Hey, Dennis. Listen. Want some music? That thing can't hear. Look. Maybe this isn't such a good idea, you know? Maybe we'd be smart to split up. Kelly and Chubb, you and me. Like teams. And we stand a better chance. What do you say? Why not every man for himself? You serious? We stick together.
about this slope? You think the D-Niner can get up? Given time, it can make a road anywhere it wants to go. Well, then we'd better fight back. What do you think about building a signal fire? Maybe an airplane or a fishing boat might... Chubb's got an idea. We ambush that dozer, run his truck into it. And kapow! Fire won't stop steel. It'll take out the electrical systems and the rubber. Hey, that's beautiful. I, I, I got a feeling we're going about this wrong. There's a good spot down the road about a half a mile. Let's get down there and set it up. I'm beginning to get this, you know? Sort of like being on patrol in Vietnam. Yeah, I'm sure. Chubb had a wife, Marjorie, and two boys in college. And a few good friends. Yeah, for what that was worth. I'll finish. D-9 
you believe that thing? What's it waiting for? What's it hurry? It knew. That ambush. It knew what we were gonna do. And it did it first. At least you got out, Dutch. I'm no coward, Kelly. I don't want to die. But that's not being a coward. Of course it isn't. if it comes. We call for artillery support. We got speed. We run and keep running until help gets here. Uh, that might not be for days. We gotta fight. We gotta find some way to total that thing. You can't kill a machine. Maybe we should appeal to its sense of decency and fair play. You stink. All right, come on. Both of you, knock it off. Come on, Dutch. Give me the... Listen, don't bug him. He's right on the edge. I'm sorry. Pain makes me snide. Will you take your shirt off? I'll see what I can do. Never mind. I can make it. It's tougher alone. Hear that? Hear what? The surf. Oh man, oh man, what I wouldn't give for a moonlight swim, you know? Hey, Dennis. I ever tell you about the time in Kuwait? Me and Mac, we were. What's it doing out there? Doing a war dance? Maybe it won't attack at night like John Wayne's Indians. You're crazy. Coach, he's crazy. He's gonna get us killed. That thing's trying to murder us. Hey, easy. Take it easy, Dutch. Tell you what. How about, uh, 
For medicinal purposes only, huh? Hey, right. Why don't you, um... Stretch out and relax for a little while. We'll keep an eye on things. And private stock? Might as well. Dutch, put this back, will you? You know, you're finished with war, Burton, even if we do get out of this thing. There's going to be investigations, asking for things we don't have, like a logical explanation. So we tell him the truth. Like you did after that Andy's power plant fiasco? I told him the truth then, too. Oh, and they crucified you for it. What did it cost you? Your job, your reputation. You want a piece of advice. Never have anything you care about losing. Travel light and travel alone. That's the way you play it. And nobody lays a glove on me. As long as you're happy. Dutch, I'm going swimming. Hey, Dutch, hold it.
But she was right. You can't kill a machine. What? Kill a machine. Hey, wait a minute. Of course you can't kill a machine. Don't you see our mistake? Yeah. The thing, or whatever. That's what has to be stopped. But how? I don't know how. But there's a way. There's got to be a way. Think, man. How do you go about killing a... A killer? It's too heavy to hang. It's too big to put in the gas chamber. Wait a minute. Electricity. Brilliant. I'm serious. Electrocution. We shoot juice into that big dozer. We got that generator. Looks damaged. Maybe, maybe not. We need a conductor of some kind. You're spinning your wheels, Kelly. No, I'm not. It'll work, and that's what's going to make it work. Come on, Sarval, give me a hand. You got it straight? We're gonna make that dozer charge the grader. When it gets both treads on that grid, wham, we fry it like bacon. Assuming it'll come from that direction. I'll jockey the grader. And assuming it's dumb enough to be suckered. And you're gonna be at that generator, ready to throw the switch, right? If it doesn't work. It has to. It's under warranty. <laughs> you know, you may make it yet, Sarball.
Come on, Dozer. Come on. Come on and get me. Come on. Over here. Listen. Nothing. The home's gone. The thing's dead. Yeah. But we're not exactly home free. No, I guess not. All we got is our word that the thing existed. You know, we could fake things. Tell the authorities the guys got caught in a landslide. No, tell the truth. No matter what? No matter what. You know, in about a hundred years, I might get to like you. And blow your whole philosophy? All I know is I'm sure glad to be alive. So am I, Sarbo. So am I. <laughs> Thank you.